Hi, my name is David and I own Little Houses Plus and Small World Products now. Small World Products is the company that specialises in doll's house wiring. So today we're going to talk to you about what extending your wires in your doll's house if necessary. Now generally you buy a light and it has a plug on the end of it like this. So you want to extend that wire. So we will use um, that plug to show you that. We will be using what they call heat shrink tubing. And that we will use to join the wires together. And here we have the wire that we're going to join on to the one that has the plug on it. Now to do that, you will need to have a little knife, a pair of something to cut the, the ends of the wires off, the plastic coating to leave the inside of the wire there. Um, some sort of heat. Now generally the best thing to use is probably a hot air gun like you take paint off of woodwork with. You can use a lighter if you're quite careful um, or a match or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the plug off the end of this wire. So you pull your little pins out. Push the wire through so you've got the wire off the plug, or take the wire off the plug, and then we can extend the wire. So you take the wire, and you've got two there, like that. You take your heat shrink, plastic coating, and you cut a little bit as much as you like, just how much you're going to make the join with. Um, I use about this sort of much. So you cut that off. You need to push this down the wire before you take the plastic coating off because it's a lot easier to do that. So you pushed it right down the wire, like that, out the way. You take your wire cutters and you just take the plastic coating off the wire so that it shows the wires inside the plastic coating and you twiddle them together to make sure they're nice and all wound up together you then take the wire that you're going to join so, and the wire we use for extending it is a little better quality than you probably will get on your lights. Um, this wire we use to run through houses, um, it will take the electric a lot better and much more efficient. So we need to just cut the wire down between the two so that we've got two wires. And then just pull them apart so you can see the two wires there like that again take your wire cutters just take the plastic coating off this wire and twiddle them together so they're nice and tight together Now when you've done that, you get hold of your wire that um, you want to extend. Um, that was the wire that we had the plug on. Now what I tend to do is I tend to make one wire have a little loop on it. Just like so. You put the other wire through the loop. Loop and bend 
I bend that back on itself. So you've actually got two loops joined together. I don't know if you can see that, that at all. But you have two loops joined together. Just run your fingers round so you sort of make sure that they're nicely wrapped together and you haven't got any loose bits hanging out. Now you can bring the insulation, um, the heat shrink back that we cut and put on the wire at the beginning. Bring it back and slide it over the joint that you've just made. And that will sit there like that. And then you get your heat, whatever you're going to use, your um, hot air gun or whatever. Make sure it, you don't get the heat too close to it. You don't want to burn it, you just want to make it warm. And as it's plastic, it will then just shrink back onto the other wires. So I'm just going to use a lighter for this. So there's the heat. There goes the, it onto the plastic. The plastic now has shrunk together and that has made your joint. And that is quite strong. You can, don't, there you go, look, won't pull apart or anything. And that's how you make your joints without a lot of bulky things. And then when you've done that, you can just do the other one, the same thing. So we'll just do that. So take your plastic heat shrink, cut whatever length you want to do, and we sell this by the meter. And then all these things are on our website, and that is um, www.littlehousesplus-dash shop.co.uk and all the information on there um, that you want any of these things that I'm using are all on there um, so you can purchase them we also have a website um, that goes under www.littlehousesplus.co.uk and that has a lot of information on it about um, things, other things. It also has um, a lot of pictures on there from customers that have sent pictures in for us to put on the website so people can have a look and get an idea of what you can do or um, things you can do with your doll's house and that sort of thing. Right, so I've cut the two wires, um, take the plastic coating off them, just make the little loop. Put the other one through the loop. Bend it over to make your other loop so they join together. Twiddle them together to make sure they're fine. Slide your plastic coating, your insulation over. I've just got a little wire stuck out there, it just won't quite go. Right, there we go. Yep, got it. There you go. So there it is. Heat it with your heat gun or whatever you're going to use. Just be careful you don't burn yourself because obviously when you heat this um, the plastic will be quite warm for a little while. So just put the heat underneath it. There it goes. Shrink straight away. Straight onto the thing and then that will give you a join. And that's how you join the wire together using your heat shrink insulation tubing. Now here, this one um, we've used today is just 1.2 millimetres. And we do a bigger one, which is 2.4 millimetres, and that's for bigger wires. So if you're wanting to use thicker wires for a job joining um, your electrics together in some form, you can have this for the thicker wires. 
I'd like to thank you for watching this YouTube presentation. And please come and look on our website and hopefully you will find everything there you're looking for. Thank you.